May is Melanoma Awareness Month, and the local organization wants to show you ways to block the sun and prevent skin cancer. Joining me this morning to talk about it, Candy Taggart from the Andy Caress Melanoma Foundation, as well as dermatologist Dr. Brent Kirkland. Thank you guys for coming in. We Thank you for having you. us. Yeah, so talk to us about the dangers of melanoma. Very, very deadly disease. You got it. Melanoma is one of the you know deadliest skin cancers that's out there. So as much as we can do to sort of forward the message and try and prevent melanoma, that's what we want to do. Have people catch it early, and that way we can diagnose it and treat it. Now, your foundation is named, it was begun by your son after That's right. he was diagnosed, and That's unfortunately right. he passed away five years ago, but yes. you've continued his efforts. We have. Yeah, so it's really touched your life. Obviously, people hear about the dangers of sun, but I guess until it's touched your lives the way that melanoma has uh, yours, it's hard to really understand that. I think that's true, and that's one reason that we have our Block the Sun Run. Um, it's a way to help people realize um, that um, overexposure to the skin is, can be harmful, and so we emphasize awareness prevention, and then we're also uh, raising money for a cure. So our, our race is awareness, prevention, and then cure. You know, I never really even thought about this until I had my own children. That's when I started to think about their skin. But it's interesting, once you put that sunblock on them and you see them having a normal time in the sun, you realize this isn't that big a deal to prevent, is it? Right. And, you know, you just have to make sure that you're smart about it when you get outside. You wear a good sunscreen. We say SPF 30 or higher in broad spectrum protection. 30 or higher. 30 or higher, yeah. All right, now what about during the winter and months when the sun isn't as direct? Is that sunblock still as important? It still is because even during the winter time, you know, the ultraviolet rays are really what's causing the skin cancer. So it can reflect off things like snow. Um, and as much as you can do to sort of reduce your cumulative ultraviolet exposure, it really helps prevent skin cancer. So wearing that sunscreen on a daily basis really does help. Now, how does your foundation help in this cause? What, you guys fund cancer research? We do. We, and actually, for a kind of a grassroots or organization, we've raised or contributed over $125,000 wow. directly towards uh, melanoma research. Oh, good for you guys. So, and we also distribute sunscreen um, at the Western Southern Tennis Tournament. Oh, good. We've given out over 100,000 of these packets over the years, so we're really trying to emphasize to people when they're in a setting where there's a lot of sun to keep the sunscreen on. Yeah, tennis for sure is one of yes. those settings. Yes, and our son was a big tennis player, so oh, that's yeah. why. Yes. Oh, okay, I got you. What SPF in the packet? This is 30. 30. Nothing less than 30 is, is what you want to use. So. Okay. And actually, and, and Dr. Kirkland can pro probably confirm this, um, the 50s and the 60s and the 80s, it, it's really 30. I mean, that's really what you need to do. I don't think you really need to go to those extra steps. And that's just it. As long as you get enough of the sunscreen on, SPF 30 should be just fine. And what do you think about uh, frequency? How often should you be reapplying? So every few hours, um, and that's a big thing, too, to make sure you get enough on. Reapply every two hours, and then if you're going to be doing things like swimming, toweling off, you have to make sure that you're putting more sunscreen on. Okay, and if you want to help in the effort here, the Block the Sun Run Walk will be at Glendale Square next Saturday. That's May 16th, and it begins at 5 p.m. If you'd like more information or to sign up, just go to the On TV tab at WLWT.com and click on the As Seen On section.